Alright, uh, hey guys, and welcome to another video, and today we are playing Farming Simulator 22, and I guess we'll do this bit of a roleplay thing, I don't know, but basically, um, the story goes like this, uh, I've inherited a farm from a family member, and yeah. That's like sort of a story. I'll try to keep as realistic as possible. But. Yeah. The farm should be not too far. It's a bit of land we have. Well, not well, what I've just got. Yeah, it's just up ahead, the farm. It's a, it's a farm on the left, not the right, not there. It's a neighbour though. So I'm pretty sure there's a, yeah, there's a really old, there's a really old John Deere A. And there's also a international, there's the international, and there's the John Deere. Now this is kind of a grass cutting, but I guess he sold some of his equipment before he gave it away. There's still some of it left. Which I guess I couldn't sell. Yep. Actually, where should I park? Ah, in there. Alright. I'll just park in here. The door's kind of in the way. Just realised I could have just looked up this way. And there. Should be good. Alright, so this is the yard. Here's the house. And here's one of the internationals. Well, there's only two tractors. Here's a baler. Some of the equipment. I don't know, I guess he's like sort of restored a bit. Here is the old John Deere A. With like 30 horsepower, I think. I don't remember. And here's the big one. I think it had 105 horsepower. It's the International 1055 XL. Which is pretty good, I guess. I don't really know. And here is the John Deere 348 Baylor. We have the... John Deere does it, does it not say the number anywhere? There it is. The John Deere 37 sickle bar mower. We down here have I forgot the brand of this cultivator. Oh it says at the bottom right. The Rabel LS15. I think. Yeah, it should be that. Rabel work. And we have a coon. Yeah, this is a windrower, a coon windrower, the, oh, it's a coon, GA3201G. And then we have the FAR, KH4S. So, it's not really a lot of implements, but we have cows. And their food might run out soon, so we better get some food for them. So, let's go and... Connect the sickle bar mower, and let's get this thing running, I guess. Let's quickly check the fields we own. We own, this is on my tablet, uh, we own 65, 66, 47, 25, and 3. So we're going to do 65 first. How are we going to enter that field? I don't know. Alright, let's get this thing to start. Instant. Instantly started. That's pretty good. Should be connected. I 
in third gear. No indicators. There's a car right there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Road gear. Alright, this should be the entrance to the field. Fuck off! Shut up! Alright, just pull, just pull the gate. There we go, just push it forwards. And get back on. There's just the field. Yes, 65 on the right. The bozo. Alright, let's go close the gate. <coughs> Alright, and this should be our field. And there's a gate right there for the other fields. So let's cut this field. I don't know, where should we start? Yeah, like that. And... I don't know, where should we start cutting? button is more of a lever, isn't it? Right, and where's the hydraulics? Right there. Right? Yeah, it should have been. And let's start mowing. Get a bit of a boundary. But we're mowing the grass. It's probably the first cut in years. Cutting quite fine. Let's see, can we do it in fourth? Yes. About fifth. Yes, fifth is a bit quicker. And we've just finished the headland. Now let's go down the other way. Right, let's try doing this in sixth gear. It's around eight miles an hour. Oh, fifth. Yeah, 
nice lads, this tractor somehow can do this. Probably because I think it requires like 10 or 20 horsepower, the sickle bar mower. So that's good. So one more pass around the field and then Um, we'll just go actually yeah one more pass around the field to try and stay as close to the grass as possible to get the most of the grass not really the most oh. whoa don't think I've ever seen anyone steer this quick with a, <laughs> a vehicle without power steering what does that power steering I shouldn't shifting let's continue along the field and I guess let's start a time lapse it won't take too long but still yeah, I'll see you when the finish is done, when the field is finished. guys we have just finished the field let's have a look at this grass oh that's kind of shit quality to be honest yeah this is garbage quality right here Really sure if we should cut this. What? Anyways, I don't know if we should cut this to be honest. Cause I feel it did very poorly. Yeah. Just do this field for now. Just do this one for now. Good thing we have the electric, the electric gates off, or else I would have got electrocuted. Let's reload open it. Just pull it. There we go. Let's, let's go and lift it back up. Go and get the other implement that we'll need, which is a tether. It's gonna make some hay. Mm, is there any other parking spots for this mower? I don't want to leave it outside. You know, we, we really need to get rid of that, right there. It's the siege place. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna find a way to sell that scrap metal. Just bashed into it. Oops. Eh, it's fine. Kinda. Yeah, that scrap metal's definitely in the way. 
There we go. Just yeet the drop. Actually, no, I'm going to yeet the drop. I'll just put it here for now. I didn't even realize how many hours this has. 7, 4, 74, 745,322. I think that's what it says. Right. So it's a good thing to use these small machines in these tight areas. Let's align it. Oh, a bit too far. A bit too far again. Perfect. There we go, PTO is on, lift that up, and yeah, that cleared it. That's a bit bumpy here. Horsepower. Right, let's get out, close the gates, just push it. There we go. Let's reverse back up to the wall. Stop. Put in fifth. Turn it on. Drop it and move. And there we go. are kind of bad. I'm the slowest reversing ever. It's going four miles per hour in reverse. Put the brakes. Put it in neutral. Get out. Disconnect the tether. And let's connect to the windrower. Should just fit on. There we go. Oh, let's see. See how high is it in, in the ground? Does it still have any sort of thing? If not, I'll put the, put it on the case.
Alright, it's definitely stressing the tractor a bit, so. I'm gonna switch up the case. Let's go park this tractor somewhere. Park it right here next to fuel. Just put, put it in neutral. Switch it off. Alright. Let's get inside the case, which is right here. Odyssey International 1055XL. Now, this one. I can open the door on this one. Let's just turn it on. Open that, I guess. The structure goes quite quick. Spin the other way around. Open this little bomb thing right there. It. I can open these little side bits right here, side windows. Just open, you can open across the top. I'll put put that down. All right. Not even affecting it. Um. Probably keep that closed. Alright, it's not as bad and bouncy on this section in the case compared to this one's indicator. So that's a road gear, put in six S. I wanted to use the John Deere for this job. But we just can't. There we go. Close that. Close the door. Um. Just close that bit. Oh. Um, let's get a bit back. Yeah, that won't work. Let's go. Switch sides. Face it up against the wall, well as much as we can. Some of it did go up against the wall when tedding, so that's a bit bad. I can use Epic Drone to see where it is. There we go. Drop it and turn it on. All right. So this should be going quite well, hopefully. So I'm going to try and stay near the grass so I can try and get as much as the hay as I can. Well, at least try. This is quite a tricky job to do. Oh, don't want to crash into the gate. Too close to the wall. And let's go down the other side like this. I'm going to use drone footage because I can't really use it this tether as well.
That went a bit out. There we go. Now we've done the headland. It's become quite late in game. It's two o'clock. Just second layer of the headland. Can't see anything. Oh, oops. Kind of messed up there. Probably do a time lapse after doing this bit of the headland. So I can at least try to concentrate. Start the time lapse now, I guess. All right, guys, oh, we finished the field. Already, that was quick. Let's open the door. To really get in the hedge to get this gate. through the yard. Just gonna put the windrow back where I got it. This cab's a, this cab is a pretty good cab. That's what I've noticed with this cab, it's actually pretty good. Instead of the little post thing to hold hold the window I guess. Instead of being kind of in the instead of being in the way, it'd be it's kind of in the way because you, you normally see a bit more. You want to see more of this. All right, um, I'm gonna do bailing in the next episode, and then possibly we might cultivate a couple of fields. I'm mainly looking at cultivating possibly number three. I'll leave a couple grass. Like that maybe I'll split it in half. So this one, this one, this one will be grass, and this one and this one will be cultivating because these fields are quite big, and this would take ages. So definitely gonna cultivate these instead of cutting grass. So. I wonder what crop we should put in them, maybe wheat, no put oats, because oats and barley, oats and barley, maybe oats and soybeans, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, does, this, does this have its own crops on this map? No it doesn't. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.